Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I sat down and I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is a holiday inspired look. I, you know, it's green, it's sparkly. Uh, this turned out so good. I'm so excited and I'm so happy with how this turned out. I hope you can see on camera how glittery and like festive it is. This is a cool toned makeup look. I wanted to cater to maybe my people out there who look better with cool tones. So that was the goal with this look. I love how this green liner came out and you guys know I like, I love a cat eye. I just think it really, it does wonders for my face. I just, I can't stop looking in the monitor at my eyes. They're just like bulging out at me. I just, I love a cat eye and honestly, I'm so happy that I decided to incorporate more cat eyes and more eyeliner in my YouTube videos because you guys know, like the majority of my channel, I used to never pick up an eyeliner. And then finally one day I did and was like, wow, this looks ratchet AF, but I definitely want to go ahead and practice and get better at it. And I'm so glad that I did. It's like an eyeliner glow up, honestly. Before we get into it, I just wanna remind you guys, if you're not yet subscribed, do that. And also click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video on my channel. I upload at least once, but last week I uploaded twice. <coughs> Claps and snaps to me. So if you would like to be in the know, because you just wanna hang out with me and you have a great time with me, because I always have a great time with you, then be sure to click that bell button and subscribe. This way you get a notification. So without further ado, Let's stop babbling and let's get on to my cool toned holiday inspired makeup look tutorial. And all I did was go ahead and I put my eyebrows on. Well, I filled my eyebrows in, I didn't put them on using the Glossier Brow Flick. And then I just primed my lid using some concealer. You can use whatever concealer you want. Let's go ahead and we're gonna do the eyes first. I'm using my favorite cool toned eyeshadow palette. This is the ColourPop Fame. Very affordable, it has really nice, beautiful, tones but it's pretty much a neutral cool tone palette grab this shade called celeb i'm just gonna knock out any of the creases that are on my lid with my finger and then i'm gonna set them with this shade i'm gonna keep this to just the lid i'm not gonna bring this all the way up and i just want to note this because i am gonna kind of wing this out with some shadow when i prime my lid i put some concealer out here this way, once we put the wing on, it won't be like over the skin, you know, to make the face look more uniform. So there's not a section of the face that doesn't have any makeup on it. Pencil brush, this is kind of like a fluffier pencil brush as opposed to like a brush like this, which is a little bit denser. The white one's a little bit fluffier. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a fluffier pencil brush and I'm just gonna work the crease and I'm kind of gonna create a cat eye with this shade. So I'm gonna hop into the shade Clubhouse, cool toned grayish brown. Poke your brush in and push it right along where you feel your orbital bone. When you're building out your crease, a good tip is I like to tilt my head back because I find that that helps you find the crease and then kind of go in like straight on and just build out the crease like so. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color and I'm gonna wing it out like I would a liner. So I'm kind of gonna draw like a big V almost. See how you can kind of see like a really faint wing. Now I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush but it's still kind of tapered and tight and I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and I'm gonna start just like tapping that over where we laid down the initial crease work just to darken it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take that fluffier brush, I'm gonna dip back into Clubhouse and I'm just gonna stamp this over what we just did just to darken it up and I'm gonna bring that into the inner corner. It just lifts the whole face by lifting the eye and you can bring it a little bit into the lashes and you definitely wanna make sure that both of your eyes are even. Now I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that we laid that lighter shade down and I'm just gonna whisk this over it just to blend this out a little bit. Okay, now just to draw a wing because I feel like we really need a wing in this look. I'm gonna use this Colab Killer Coal Self Sharpening Eye Pencil. I'm such a big fan of this. It goes on so smooth, it's so creamy. So I'm gonna keep it really, really close to the lash line. And I'm gonna keep my eye open to wing it out because I do have those folds in my eye. Now I'm gonna wiggle this between my lashes because I really want this to all be green. I don't wanna be able to see my skin.
And I kind of want to give this like an Egyptian vibe. So again, I love this because it has a sharpener inside. So all you do is twist the cap on and then it tells you which way to twist the pencil and then it just sharpens it inside. It's literal magic. So I'm just gonna draw on the inner corner. Basically, outline the inner corner just like that. I just love how that looks. I feel like those wings are pretty even. Honestly, you guys know my eyes are two different shapes, so it's kind of hard for me to get them like spot on even. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys this little trick that I've been doing to really help clean up my wings, and I find it really, really helpful. However, I need to go grab some Q-tips, so I'll be right back. Dip it into some of my eye cream. You can take whatever eye cream you so choose. I use the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. And I'm just gonna roll the cream onto my hands and roll it into the Q-tip. And I'm just gonna clean up the sides of the wing using that cream. Same thing on the other side. And this is just gonna help sharpen it. And voila, you have a sharp wing, but you also added some moisture there. So that's my little trick on how to fix a wing. I learned that in beauty school, so thank you beauty school. And I'm gonna hop back into this palette and I'm gonna take that pointier pencil brush that we didn't use before, I'm gonna use it now. And I'm gonna hop into the shade Blase, which is a cool toned green. And I'm just gonna stamp this over that liner. So it's just gonna darken that shade up and also make it a little bit more matte and kind of make it look like we used an eyeshadow for the wing. And it is going to help set that liner. So if you are someone that has oily lids and hooded lids, if you set your eyeliner with a shadow like this, it's kind of like setting your face with powder. It's going to help ensure that this cream liner does not transfer. And I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but in real life, this one looks a lot more matte and more pigmented than this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna take a flat fluffy brush. I'm gonna hop into Showboat, which is like this cool toned silver. And I'm just gonna pop this underneath the brow. Wow. Wow, this is a really creamy shadow. I think I put too much on on the first eye. A flat brush and I'm just gonna whisk this up, blend them out a little bit more. And if you feel like you want a little too heavy handed, which I do, I'm gonna take that little pencil brush that we used to put that crease shade in and just go over that. I'm gonna use my Tarte Tape Shape. I'm in the shade Light Neutral, and I'm just gonna pop this underneath the eyes and put this wherever I need a little extra coverage, which is really everywhere because my skin is not happy today. I'm using the larger side first, but then when I get into like the nooks and crannies of my face where I need a smaller brush, I'm just gonna flip it to this side and just be wary of that wing you don't want to mess up that wing, but we do want to get as close as possible. So I'm using another mirror, aside from the mirror that's in front of me, just to really watch where I'm placing this. And then I'm going to use the bigger side to just blend out the edges. NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. I'm going to take just a pump on the back of my hand and I'm going to use the fluffy side to just stipple this into the skin. Damp Beauty Sponge, this is just an Eco Tool sponge. I'm gonna spray my face. And now I'm gonna push that moisture into my skin and hope that this helps break up the cakiness that is going on. I don't think you can see it in the camera right now, but my face is just so dry and angry. All right, I guess I'm gonna use some cream bronzer because the thought of putting too much powder on my face hurts right now. I haven't used this in a while, guys, and I used to use this all the time. My Ardell Glam Touring Contour Stick. This is like the best affordable contour stick I have ever come across. Like it just blends out so easily. Oh my God, it's like amazing. And then I'm gonna pinch the sponge and just blend out my nose. This is the Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe, and I'm just gonna use this to highlight the highest points of my cheeks. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. Can you see that on camera? That's really pretty. And this is kind of like a cool toned highlighter. Freaking pretty. I forgot I even had this. 
And I'm gonna put some on my chin, turning my chin forward, some on my cupid's bow. So pretty. And I'm gonna put some between my brows. My most like hydrating powder, which is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna set underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna keep it away from that highlight we just put on. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just take a bronzer and I'm just going to powder contour my nose because you guys know I like to contour my nose simply because my nose is a little bit crooked and it just makes me feel better about myself. No, if you have a crooked nose, you do not need to contour, it's not necessary. So I'm just taking an angled fluffy brush and I'm just running this down the sides of my nose. And you can put some around your nostrils to make your nostrils appear a little bit smaller, which I will also do. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that brush that I used to apply the translucent powder and just push it up towards that contour just to soften it out a little bit. I'm gonna use this Colab blush because it's a cool toned pink, keeping in theme with the cool tone. This is their Just For Fun Soft Spot Sheer Blush, really pretty. And I'm gonna apply that with a fluffy brush. It's like a fluffy tapered blush, blush brush. Now what's ever left over, I'm gonna put some on the chin run it down my nose and put it on the forehead. Mist. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set my brows. Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel. This is just a clear brow gel. I think I want to just darken up the lash line using a black liner, Marc Jacobs fine liner eyeliner this is just a black eyeliner and i'm just gonna keep this to the lower lashes keep this to the lashes and i'm just like going back and forth really gently just to build up the lash line and i'm just like dotting this along the lash line see it doesn't look like liner it just looks like our lashes are a little bit thicker so I'm not drawing a straight line. I'm kind of just wiggling this and dotting this between the lashes. I wanna give this a little bit of pizzazz and I really do love these Marc Jacobs highlighters. This is the Marc Jacobs highlighter in Gemstoned and it's like this shiny green shade that's light enough that I think it will help make the eyes pop. And I just find like green looks really good with brown eyes. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use this to line the lower lash line. I'm gonna put this over that green that we put in the inner corner because I feel like this is gonna help make our eyes pop because it's kind of sparkly. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna put it over that wing just because it's so sparkly and it's so pretty. So I'm just dotting this over the wing. <gasps> mm, I think I wanna put this all over. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dot this all over the wing that we did with the green because I just feel like these sparkles look so pretty. I really hope you can see this on camera, although I highly doubt that you can, but I'm literally just dotting this over that wing we created. Oh my God. Okay, so if you want more of a matte wing, then don't do this, but I just think that this sparkle makes it so so like festive. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I kind of want this to look a little grungier now. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the inner lash line, but I'm gonna bring it down a little bit like that. So it kind of looks like we smudged out the liner. <gasps> I love this. This took a turn for the better, which is very rare on my channel because if you are a finder, you know that usually we encounter mishaps, so this was a pleasant surprise. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then we're gonna figure out what we wanna do with the lips. I feel like we have to go nude, although I wanted to do a red. Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. I'm gonna use my trusty Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara on the lower lash line. So happy with how this came out. Wow, shocked, shooketh, shocked. Koki Cosmetics, this is the retractable lip liner in Dusty Rose, and I'm just gonna line my lips. Okay, and once they're lined, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in with the shade. Maybelline Blushing Beige, and I'm gonna focus this in the center. So I'm kind of just like patting this on the lips. And then I'm gonna use my finger and just pat it out. I'll leave you guys zoomed in so we can just admire the hard work 
that we put in today. The green is super shiny. I really hope you guys can see the glitter in this eyeliner. I really hope that you guys can see it. Let me know down below in the comment section if you can see that shiny green because it just, it really, it, it did, did something. It just, it really made this look. So I'm really happy with how this came out. If you have any questions about the techniques or the products that I use today, as always, be sure to leave those questions down below in the comment section. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. And if you have a video request, you would maybe like me to do more cool toned eyeshadow looks, maybe like a warm tone look. You want me to teach you a technique. You want me to review a product for you. Always be sure to contact me. I leave all of my contact information down below. You can either leave a comment here on YouTube. You can message me on Instagram. You can email me. Like all my information is down below in the drop down section. So there are multiple ways that you can find me, interact with me and connect with me. I would love to connect with you. I love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I'm so happy that you guys sit down and spend a portion of your day with me and watch my videos. It really means a lot. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.